Dear lord, there's a lot of fan service in this anime, and sometimes cheap fan service like that, like... When you're marketing an anime towards it's mainly gonna be kids, like, this kind of theme kind of sells the show, right? Every, every kid's gonna see, oh my god, big ass titties, I love this anime, I'm gonna keep watching. But when you get older and you turn into a boomer like me, I'm just watching like, eh, we can kind of get away with it. But, hey, I hope it's not the focal point of this anime. Now, we should have some tournaments, some preliminary matches happening soon, right? Let's begin today's reaction. It looks like she wants to say something. Oh, what? Good luck! Oh, oh. Friday date. Friday date. 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 Why are you going on a date with me? If I asked you on a date, would you say yes? You know, we hang out and the to fucking get on with it. Come on. <laughs> this really does remind me of Kotori from a date alive just because of the hair color and like dates. Uh, Onisama, are you free tomorrow? Would you like to go shop? <laughs> Double date, maybe? Ah, uh, she got him first. You, you should have said it earlier. Maybe she'll still do it? It'll be like a double date. Oh, she is dressed up. But why is the roommate here? What the? F Look at this passive aggressive smile. Oh my god. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Yeah, and, and you are? Why, why are you here? Why? Okay. Alright, Alice. That name familiar or what? <laughs> A little bit of an older trap, yeah? <laughs> oh my god. A man? Well, I don't know, am I? But I identify as... Oh, stop it. All right, all right. We got a... We got a, a nice little trap here. But I wonder if Alice is actually a good person. Because I feel like we're getting set up. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's a triple threat now. It's not just, you know, the two girls. Alice is also in. What? You're holding hands? <laughs> Is that, these outfits are so extra. Yeah, why are you holding hands, man? I mean, older brother and little sister holding hands might be normal if the little sister was like, I don't know, like really, really young. But like, I don't know. They're like in high school together. <laughs> Is that normal? Ah, I mean, they already kissed, so let's fucking skip the normal stuff, right? Let me get that off of you with your tongue, though. It can't be just... Now, if it was the other way around... Oh, he ate it at the end! Hey! He licked it! I, I, if it was the other way around, I think Shizuku would have cleaned him with just the pure tongue immediately. She put it everywhere her face, right? Try to be a little bit more discreet. Now we get a napkin and just wipe it. I feel like we're gonna just grab a napkin instead, man. Yeah. No, not a towel! Yeah, isn't... I don't know. Telling a guy your life story like that on the first time you meet, something about Alice... I still don't trust him entirely. I feel like we might be getting baited. Use the girl's bathroom then! Hmm? Never mind. Wait, wait. Did I jinx myself? But... That's exactly why you are what? No, no, she was getting serious there for a second. What? 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 Oh, they got guns. I mean, in shows like this, when you have magic sword, usually guns never land and can't do shit. Oh? Portal. That's Alice's power? Yeah, what an idiot. He left the fucking mask behind. Why'd you even take it off and leave? What is that idea? What a ridiculous fucking... Oh, whatever. Alice's power. Oh? It's like a little dagger kind of thing? Darkness Hermit. Sounds super edgy. Control the shadows. Utility-wise, sounds insane. Yeah, it's just like a dimensional portal. I mean, they're just students, but like, they gotta do this shit? Okay. So normally they can't use it outside of school activities, but now we can just go rogue? This is like oh, what the fuck? Yeah, fuck this guy up, dude. <laughs> Turn the ice cream for <laughs> Nah, oh my 
like, dude, this fucking guy. And he's the same person that came into the bathroom and took his mask off, right? What an idiot. Stella, get in there. No, shut. Okay. I'm like, he just shot at a boy like that? What? Here we go. Blazer. No. Oh, whoa. Her flame effect's like this. What? She, she like becomes flame. Huh. If other people with swords slashed her right now in this flame form, what would happen? This is probably Bisho. I wasn't touching him. My bullets were. Yeah, and he threw an ice cream at me. <laughs> what a clown. No. No, you. You wouldn't. Yo, fuck up Yakin instead. Why are you. She's not gonna die. She's the cool Stella. She's the cool Stella. It was a bait? Magic. They don't use swords. Right? I guess? Oh, damn. What? Actual damage being taken. Maybe I'm underestimating them. So the word device was used to, you know, describe Alice's sword. So it's not strictly just about swords. Like everybody has a device and the device can be like a different kind of thing. So for him, it's like a ring with a book and does different powers. Okay, okay. That's it. <laughs> Are you fucking serious, dude? Like really? She's not going to do it. Come on now. We're not. Okay, first of all, this is just anime so we can't really show her getting actually naked bro are you the fan service is going insane you, it, it's or, or, are you serious right are you really doing this no you're not Th this is shameless <laughs> this is so shameless i yo the author is fucking wild for doing this are you serious i i look at the, the fucking anime did you see the little Shiny parts in the middle. I, this is weird, man. This is weird, man. No. No. Are you... Bro, get in there, dude. Fucking... What, what's the word? Oh. Alice, come on. What? What happens if we go there and save, though? Fucking... Intetsu fucking Shuno or something. Let's go. Okay, she's good doing so. It kind of looks like she's peeing on the ground right now. Water barrier? I thought we were a magical knight, but I guess Blazer just kind of describes anyone with these devices and powers, right? All right, in Tetsu time. Let's go. I just can't take anyone with guns in these kind of shows seriously. Unless the entire anime was just guns. Like, if you had, like, magic and sword shit, like, guns don't do anything, bro. Like, these bullets don't mean anything. Here we go. I don't need to see any colors. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's just how fast his eyes can process things. Yeah, all these bullets are good for is fucking destroying sh windows here, dude. They, they can never hit him. Everybody has the shittiest aim with guns in anime. Ay -ay. Get fucked, dude. Seventh secret sword. Meaning there's multiple secret swords, therefore it's different techniques, right? Cut him more. Other arm too. Other arms too, come on! Alice, get in there! Fucking stab his asshole, I don't know. They're all taken out, yeah. This is so shameless. At least to have her close back, I don't... I don't know, man. It's just... It's, it just feels like the author is doing her so dirty. Like, 
for fan service, just, if you just want to see titties on the screen, then nice. But at the same time, I, I don't know. I just feel so weird about it. You put some clothes on you, shameless. <laughs> Oh? Oh, maybe? These two are gonna slowly become good friends, even though they keep a rivalry with the uh, Iki? That is such a fallback. Like, Ito Shuda, like, once you use it, it's just done. And now! Alice. Alice. Cameraman! You can't do that to Stella! Who? Who? Someone else entirely. Oh? Deserved? I think we saw this guy in episode one that was like smirking for a while when we saw the first duel. Long, like purple or reddish hair. Oh? Was he invisible? Kirihara. He already knows his name? They know each other. He's gotta be a bad guy, right? I, I don't know. It's just based on his looks, but he saved them. Oh, super popular. Big harem. Yo, his outfit's crazy. <laughs> Alright. I mean, he saved us, but yeah, it feels like he's kind of like a villain, right? Wonder what their relationship is. Kirihara and uh, Iki. Maybe... Are they family? No. What's his last name? Is it Kurugane too? Because like Kurugane has a lot of different kids that was trained up, right? No, Kirihara is his like last name, so it's not gonna be. He is. I bet he is. Have he has he ever fought Ito Shura? I can't tell if he's just all talk or not. Maybe way in the past when he didn't have Itoshira, probably? I don't know. First match is against him. It's gotta be, right? Yes! Oh, it's gonna be a good rematch, but... Because he's being hyped up like this, and because he's such a douchebag, you know he's gonna get super humiliated, but... He won last year? Against him? Ito should have been existed last year. How do you lose? Or There must have been some weird circumstances that we don't know. And this author is fucking crazy for making Stella like strip down and almost beg, like bow them. But then after that too, just fighting in, just in her fucking panties and bra. I, I just feel like she's getting done dirty if you know what I mean. Like it's nice to see Booba on screen here and then. But like that just felt a little bit weird. Now Kirihara at the end, he seems pretty strong. Right? He was like kind of very invisible for a second and he had all these different like lights things that almost like acted as bullets to attack. We got to see a little bit of his power, but why did Iki not be able to fight him last year? Something is off because I'm going to imagine that Ito Shura existed back then unless it's an entirely new thing. Regardless, I have un like no doubt Iki will win. Like he's not going to lose. In fact, guys like him that get introduced as such a douchebag that's so hyped up with a lot of girls around are gonna get super humiliated. Oh, the revenge story, it's gonna be good. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.